Once upon a time when things were rotten, not just food, but also caves were rotten. Everybody kicked the peasants. Things were bad and that ain't good. Then came Robin Hood. Oh, bah. Soon a band of merry men he gotten. They wore out this made of plain green cotton. Helping victims was their business. Boy, oh boy, was business good. Good for Robin Hood. They laughed, they loved, they fought, they drank. They jumped a lot of fences. They robbed the rich, get to the poor. Except what they kept for expenses. So when other legends are forgotten, we'll remember back when things were rotten. They drank, they jumped a lot of fences. They robbed the rich, gave to the poor, except what they get for expenses. So when other legends are forgotten, we'll remember back when things were rotten. Marion, will you be reasonable? I don't want to be reasonable. I want to be married. I want to plight my troth. Marion, no one wants to plight your troth more than I. <laughs> well, I'm tired of being the lady in waiting. Why, I'm not even sure you love me. Well, of course I love you. My love is real. It's that horse that's phony. Well, there are plenty of other squirrels in the forest. And if you don't want to marry me, there are a lot of other men who will. Why, all I have to do is snap my fingers and... Ah, fair Marion, will you marry me? See? Sir Clyde, you are not marrying her. I am. Now be off. Robin, when? Well, just as soon as King Richard has returned to his throne and my work here is done. That could be forever. Or longer. I won't wait that long. Robin, you have to choose. Me? Or your career? It's not my career, Mary, and it's, it's my duty. And a man must do his duty as he sees it. And when a man sees his duty, he must not turn his back on it. He must face up to it, look it squarely in the eye, and say, Howdy, Judy. <laughs> That's the way you feel about it. Then let's just call the whole thing off. Mary, and wait! <laughs> Sir Clyde. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Bertram. The mind boggles. 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 You've managed to turn our stately throne room into an Arabian sock hop. <laughs> Watch out. <clears throat> I am quite sure Sheikh Ahmed will feel quite at home. Your pillow nest, Sheikh Ahmed, awaits without. Without what? <laughs> I've got to ask. Bertram, announce him. Don't you ever do that? I'm sorry, my liege, but don't ever do that again. It's very painful. <laughs> my lords, my ladies, Sheikh Ahmed Mohammed Benzin. <laughs>
Ayo masalah, ayo masalah. <laughs> Nampak apa salah? Hold the dressing. <laughs> A thousand greetings, esteemed sheriff. Yes, and aforementioned, sir. Yes, clause A. The first party said, whereas the second party, your party, my place. Yes, yes, etc. Yes, good. Does the trade agreement meet with your approval, Sheikh Ahmed? Is it not written that he who lies down with the lion and the ant shall awaken strangely refreshed? I will now sign. There. <laughs> now your turn, my liege. Once signed, you will have exclusive rights over every drop of olive oil produced by the seven major olive oil producing and exporting countries, also known as OOPEC. Of which I am Chief OOP and Vice Peck. Fantastic. I shall control all of the olive oil. And if anyone in England wants to make a salad, they'll have to go through me. <laughs> there, I've signed. Bigger than you. <laughs> The deed is done, and having been done is done, and a deed done is a deed done well. Well done. Royally done. Irene done. Irene, Irene done. Irene done. Irene done. <laughs> Irene done. So be it. And in accordance with the customs of your great country, all that is ours is yours. Choose anything you desire, anything you see. Up to five things, or the cash equivalent. Oh, no, no, I, I couldn't. I really couldn't. I'll take that shield, that vase, that plaque, that chair, and her. What? 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 You see, wait! You missed my what? I'm sorry. What? Continue. Thank you. Don't you see, Maid Marion, you ought to marry Sheikh Ahmed as part of the trade agreement. What? Yes, yeah, she's right. This is the 12th century. You just can't marry someone off who doesn't belong to you. Majesty. Don't you see, Your Majesty, this agreement will make you one of the richest and most powerful men in all of Europe. Bye, Marion. <laughs> eat. Eat, Robin. I can't, Friar. I have no appetite. A bite? A mouthful? Something? Here comes the horsey. Open the barn door. It's a pity to waste a good horsey. Don't let her get to you, Robin. You're better off with her. Hey, man, I say he should say he's sorry and throw himself at the mercy of her feet. That's what I say. Good huh? riddance is what I say. We spend half our time saving her anyway, right, guys? Hey, man. Oh, Beautiful girl like that. Right right right. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. Bravo, you know me. I've always leveled with you. How long have I known Marion since you two started going together? She's the best. She's the top. She's the Tower of Pisa. I love her like my own sister. Dumper. <laughs> Dumper? El Dumpo, just like that. <laughs> Who is this guy? Robin, perhaps the good book has the answer. <laughs> what does the good book have to say for me, Friar? Oh, let's see. Uh, Eve begat Abel, Ruth begat Isaac. Isaac begat Hayes, Sarah begat Born, Born begat Monroe. There's a lot of begats in here, Robin. <laughs> well, it's a good book. No one said it was perfect. What's the Wall Street? Read all about it. A building sweep on the seat of Fortis in, in a building pile. What did you say? I said a building sweep on the seat of Fortis in a building pile. Oh, oh. 
Mr. and Mrs. Sheikh Abdul Mohammed Ben Turpin are relieved to announce the wedding of their son, Sheikh Ahmed Jr. of Baghdad and New Canaan, to Marion Fitzgibbon of Nottingham. Sylvester, are you sure this wedding announcement is legitimate? Oh, yes, there's going to be a wedding, all right. The sheriff's men are out stealing flowers. They stole a wedding cake. They stole a three-piece band. They even stole one of those cocktail francs. Come on, guys, we're not gonna let this sheik steal Robin's girl. Hey, he's a foreigner. Oh. Come on, let's get him! Yeah, let's go. Hold, it. Hold it! It's clear. She's made her choice. What's done is done. If there's one thing I've learned in this life, and mark this well, it's to accept defeat with calm, adult resignation. I want to die! <laughs> oh, Marion, why did you do it to me? He's taking it a lot better than I thought. I thought he'd fall to pieces. I've never been in a situation like this before. I thought I could handle it. But I'm confused, angry, and very resentful. What does it all mean? What does it all mean to you? Don't you ever give answers? Answers? You want an answer? Twelve. That's an answer. Here you get questions. I'm a wizard. You want answers? See an accountant. See Bernie. You don't seem to understand. They're forcing me to marry a man I do not love. Tell me what to do. That's your job. My role is to point out the pitfalls and the pratfalls. You have to decide. I must decide. What is there, an echo in here? You come up with an answer! All right! I'll kill myself! Wonderful. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Okay, you made a decision, but a wrong decision. Throwing in the sponge at your age. You have everything to live for. You're a legend. You're the target of town. And what good is all that now without Marion? You have to help me, wizard. I, I can't cope with this. I, I can't deal with, with Marion marrying that sheik. Forget about it. She ain't gonna marry him. Not Marion, what do you mean? Uh-oh, I just ran off at the mouth. But that's all you're getting from me. I would never violate the sacred wizard-patient relationship. Okay, listen up close. They're forcing her, but she don't want to marry the guy, so she got the poison ring, and when they get to the I do, she will. She will what? Can't you put two and three together? Poison ring, and she will. She will... Oh, no, she won't. I'll see to that. Wait a minute. You still got 40 minutes left. <laughs> Play it again, Ahmed. <laughs> It's good to see you so excited about selecting your wedding gown. I brought them all the way from Arabia. My other wives packed them for me, just in case. I have no intention of wearing a wedding gown, even a cute one. We shall see. Bertram, proceed. Thank you. The lovely Phoenicia is wearing a one-piece burgundy jurgundy with a willagree filigree. And now, Vanessa, wearing a teal blue creation from the house of Ernestine Borgendine. Sharon has selected this saucy schmata for her trip down the aisle. No, no, I wouldn't be caught dead in any of those. You can't make me marry him. I don't love him, and love is sacred. I demand that this wedding be stopped in the name of love. Stop! Man, we've got to stop the wedding. 
stop the wedding. Now you're talking, man. Let's get him. Don't back down, Robin. Let her go. No, 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 no. You don't understand. They're forcing her to get married, so she's going to kill herself at the ceremony. Wow, that ought to put a dapper on the reception. <laughs> so listen, men, I have a plan where we can discredit the sheik and save Marion. I knew it. What did I tell you? Another save. Friar, the archbishop is to perform the ceremony. I want you to intercept him at Mansfield Road and take his place at the wedding. I'm going to be the archbishop? My mother's going to be so proud. <laughs> now, once at the castle, I want you to delay the ceremony until we arrive. Aye, aye, Robin. I'm gone with the wind. Men, we're going to a wedding. Hey, wait a minute. We don't have any invitations. These are our invitations. Oh. Well, I guess I'll only stay a short while. No. The poison. Perfume. Poison. Perfume. Poison. Perfume. Mm. Perfume. Poison. Isn't that cute? A miniature Marion and a life-size Ahmed. <laughs> they forgot Prince John's duckies. Pass the twins. He's all wrong. Now remember, everyone, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. They are good lads. I have one of those. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Lightfingers, do leave us some silverware tonight, won't you? Hubert, <laughs> <Yeah>. look! <laughs> Remember, when the Archbishop arrives, gong him in. There's a lad. Welcome to our castle, Archbishop. Please, call me Archie. We are anxious for the ceremony to proceed, Your Excellency. Oh, yes, of course, the ceremony. <clears throat> Everybody rise! Uh, 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 uh. I didn't say Simon Says. <laughs> What? Just praying. I do believe we could move a little faster, Archbishop. I'm going as fast as I can. Sheikh Ahmed Mohammed Ben Gezerra. <laughs> Archbishop, Sheikh Ahmed. I'm humbled in the presence of your grandness. No, 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 no. It is I who am humbled by the presence of your grandness. I do believe it's time for the ceremony to begin. <laughs> ah, the blushing bride. Let the ceremony begin. Sheikh Ahmed, aren't you forgetting something? You are forgetting one of your very own customs. Naughty, naughty. You have forgotten the Benghazi bridal dance. The, Beng the, Beng the Benghazi bridal what? Dance, dance, of course, the Benghazi bridal dance. The pre-wedding dance done by the groom to entice his lovely bride. Of course, my lovely bride. 
We will do the centuries-old dance that glorifies the gathering of the harvest, the changing of the season, the union of the cosmos, and the winning of the West. Hit it! Right, the ceremony. <laughs> we are gathered here to join Maid Marian and Sheikh Ahmed Mohammed Ben Casey in matrimony. If there is anyone here present who knows of any reason why these two should not be wed, let him speak now. Anyone. Anyone at all. Don't be shy, step right up. There must be someone. What's the matter? Oh, yes, right, all right, all right. <laughs> do you, Sheik Ahmed, take the... I do, I do, I do. You do, he does. <laughs> and do you, Maid Marian... She, she does, she does. She does. Then, by all the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you man... And... Stop! Pull this wedding over to the side. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Harib of Cairo 5-0. We have been after this man for years. He is no sheik. Back in desert country, he is known as Ahmed the Crook. Not true. He lies. Wrong. Dare you deny this? One of the many checks you have bounced all over the Fertile Crescent? Let me see this. Ahmed! Guards, take the Sultan to solitary. Please, Ahmed is ours. We must take him back to Morocco. The desert has ways to deal with its own. Farewell, lovely maiden. Fine fellow. I just can't help feeling that I've met him before. Don't be silly. Where could you have ever met before? <laughs> you must feel free to speak on whatever's troubling you. I want to see the secret storms that are raging inside of you as the world turns in your search for tomorrow. Spill the beans! Well, personally, I feel I've profited from this experience. Maid Marian and I have a much more mature and meaningful relationship. And in the future, I intend to think less of my career and tend more to her needs. And I'm going to try to think much less of my own personal needs and more of Robin's ideals. Because I know how busy he is, stealing from those who are in the high income bracket and giving to those who are much less fortunate. And I'm going to try not to be so resentful about Robin spending more time with Marion than with me, and not to be so angry about having to save her all the time. And I'm going to try not to joke around so much and be more serious about Robin and the band and its arrangements. <laughs> Sorry. And I will try to live with the fact that I will never be Archbishop or Skinny. And I have to try to remember not to feel so guilty about being smarter than the other guys. It's hard. You guys got it all together. No wonder they call you the merry men. Say, wait a minute. Maybe you can help me. I got a problem. Oh, sure, Wiz. Okay. Now level with me. 
Does this make me look like a jerk? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.